<laughs> so, uh, she buys all my clothes too. Jesus. But I don't have to dress up to, you know, get stage presents like some people. Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and uh, yeah, I bought these pants four years ago with Christmas money from my grandma. You can read that however you want. And this jacket was given to me by a lovely lady leaving Taiwan who had huge boobs. And I think about that every time I put it on. And uh, yeah, my heart rate is about as high as it is now. If I fall down, it is actually not part of this book, uh, the, the, the thing. Yeah. I went to the doctor, I took a CAT scan, he said that I'm dying. I went back to get the results from my CAT scan, he said, you've got gastric reflux. <laughs> this is not a joke. That's true. The joke is, like, it was only $400, so I guess you get what you pay for. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, uh, <laughs> I was on the bus the other day, and uh, I'm, I'm married, yes, I have a kid, yes, I'm very faithful. I would say perfectly faithful, but something happened last week. <laughs> like I say, on the bus. <laughs> Let me explain. I'm sitting there by the window. This uh, larger girl, friendly, makes a beeline for the seat right beside me. She sits down. And she immediately drops her head and begins to sleep. And her breathing is slow and rhythmic and we're close and it was strange. I don't know if I can convey to you how intimate this seemed, we were breathing in sync. <laughs> like synchronous, I mean you slept with people in beds and you breathe together and you hold hands and it's lovely but this was on a bus and I find myself timing my breathing and then she gets up and she leaves and I'm left to think about this and I thought, if that's her fetish, this public bus breathing, I'm actually happy to oblige. You know, you're welcome. I'm glad I can do a good turn, do a good deed. And then I thought, maybe that's all in my head. Maybe she doesn't have a fetish. Maybe I just discovered my new fetish. <laughs> I don't know exactly. Uh, speaking of perverts, there's this guy named uh, Silvio Berlusconi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he is a world-class dog turd, this guy. He has been in, I mean, he was a media mogul first, and then he became prime minister of Italy. So right away, you know he's like worthless human waste. <laughs> and he spent the last 20 years in court for extortion, bribery, collusion, corruption, tax invasion, like everything. That's it. He just got cleared. He just got cleared on his second appeal to stat rape, his most serious allegation. And it turns out this is beautiful. This is how he beat it. Besides 200 million euro, he claimed one, he never paid her. As if that makes a difference. <laughs> and two, he thought that she was the niece of Hosni Mubarak, the president of Egypt. So he was fucking for country. But I'm like, Silvio, you are not Mark Antony, and she is not Cleopatra. This is not like a modern day democratic royalty thing going on. And then I thought, wait a minute, maybe that's not it. Maybe it was like a prank, maybe it's like that Hosni. Ha 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 ha. Wait till he finds out about this. Ha, 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 ha. It's like a prank fuck. That's what it was. It was a prank. And then I decided these bunga bunga parties, 120 million euro, he doesn't seem to miss it, it doesn't seem to matter. Maybe being a big grade A dog turd is not that bad after all. Yeah. Okay, maybe it is. Um, uh, I guess that's my time. Oh, you know what? There is still a bus that I can catch if I leave now. So. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Yeah.